After you open the software, on top left in the status bar, it's going to show a device disconnected. Using data USB cable, connect the interface and watch the status window change and it should change over here and it should show you device serial number after it's successfully connected. So you have the serial number here, you got the car installed and features. If you want to update the interface or change the car, and this is for any interface you will be working with, you click on search button, you select any car, so let's say I wanted to change it to Chevrolet Camaro, you highlight the car and you hit install. And the installation process is going to begin. It's going to reboot the device and install the software. Now it's downloading the software. Please wait for the software download to complete. So the software installation is almost complete. After it's complete, we're going to go to settings to change interfaces settings. Okay, it says software has been successfully installed and we're now going to go into settings here and check the settings. In settings, we're going to set the inputs that we're using or want to activate. On the left hand side, you set the check mark to turn on HDMI video input. If you're installing aftermarket rear view camera, set the check mark. If your car is equipped with a factory rear view camera, set the check mark here. If you're installing aftermarket forward facing camera, set the check mark here. If the vehicle is equipped with factory forward facing camera, set the check mark here. If you're installing aftermarket left lane watch camera, set the check mark here. If the vehicle is equipped with a factory left lane watch camera, set the check mark here. If you're installing aftermarket right lane watch camera, set the check mark here. If the vehicle is equipped with factory right lane watch camera, set the check mark here. If you need to install a DVD player and one of these boxes are unchecked, check any one of these boxes to use as DVD input. So after you set all your cameras, after you completely do camera setup and you have a blank box on the left hand side, check any one of these boxes for a aftermarket DVD player. So for this example, we want to use two DVD players. We're going to use left and right lane watch cameras for DVD player settings forward facing camera settings. There are two settings, manual and manual with speed check. Manual setting means that the front camera can only be turned on manually by the driver. Manual with speed check means that we can turn on camera manually at any time or automatically. When car is out of reverse and into drive, the front facing camera will stay on the screen up to 10 miles an hour. When vehicle reaches the speed of 10 miles an hour, factory aftermarket forward facing camera, camera will automatically turn off. Left and right lane watch camera settings. You got three settings, manual, manual with speed check and manual without speed check. Manual means that you can only manually turn on left and right lane watch cameras. Manual with speed check means that you can either manually turn on any of the cameras or you can turn on the cameras with left and right turn signal when car reaches the speed of above 15 miles an hour. So if you're driving, once the speed is 15 miles an hour or over, you can use left and right lane watch cameras with turn signals. Manual without speed check. When you're driving and the car is at any speed, 0, 10, 15, 100 miles an hour, doesn't matter what speed you're at, the cameras will work with turn signals. So if you're just pulling out out of your parking spot and you put left turn signal on, the left lane watch camera will turn on. Any of these cameras can be turned on manually at any time, regardless of the settings. So turn 
HDMI input or you're using a DVD input here, any of these cameras can be watched while driving at any time. And in the next step, we're going to show you how to control text overlay settings. Don't forget to hit accept before changing to text overlay settings. Interface comes pre-configured with inputs. You got rear camera input, and you got overlay rear camera. You got front camera input with overlay. You got left camera input with overlay that says left camera. And you got right camera input with overlay that says right camera. All these overlays can be turned off and the input's names can be changed. We're going to change the inputs and show you the difference after we change the input settings. Video input text overlay setting. So, as you just seen in the video, we have all of these on. So you get overlay setting. This is the safety text that you got for check your surroundings on the rear camera, on the front camera, on the left and the right camera. So we installed rear and front camera, but left and right camera we want to use as video input. So we don't want no safety text on the screen. So we're gonna remove the check marks and we want to change the text instead of left camera want to say input three and instead of the right camera want to say input four after that you hit accept and in the following video you will see how we no longer have the safety text and left and right video input has changed to input three and input four so after you change camera to av inputs here's how the menu is going to look you still got rear camera, then you got front camera, and you see OSDs is still here. So on the rear camera, you got on screen, it says rear camera, check surroundings for safety while backing up. Now we changed left camera and right camera to video input three and video input four. So now if you select video input three, there is no more OSD. As you remember, it used to be OSD here. And same thing with video four there is no more OSD so now you have a blank screen that you can use for video inputs such as DVD player.